You're on. Uh, prophecy today. I want to talk about a prophecy. <clears throat> One of the things the Lord had shown me that's coming in the last day is that things in our atmosphere is going to change. Planets are going to move out of their normal path. <clears throat> we'll even see a, a mild like collision uh, according to what the Lord um, has told me and um, it seems like something is happening out there right now I want to show this to you maybe I can get a picture of it on as well uh, but uh, with Saturn with Saturn it says mystery giant hex hexagon at Saturn's North Pole changes color um, now I'm not sure that um, I've never heard of this before I'm 62 I've never heard of this so you know nobody's going to tell me this is a normal thing that happens all the time okay um, hexagon shape uh, is, is telling me that um, this thing is held electrically with with by the pole you know uh, that means negative and or positive uh, electrical charges. Um, and I'm going to show you something here. Okay. So that you can see if you go over to uh, Wikipedia site. I just want to read this to you right off the top of the. <clears throat> it says ions. Negative and positive ions. How they react. Okay can be created by either chemical or physical means okay remember that either by chemical or physical means via ionization in other words that's what when that happens that's what it's called ionization in chemical terms if a neutral atom loses one or more electrons it has a net positive charge and is known as a caution if an atom gains electrons it is it has a negative charge and is known as an ion okay so and so in a in other words, it's trying to get rid of it if it's got too many, if it doesn't have enough, it's got more. So something can cause those to gain or lose, okay, by uh, a physical or a chemical by means. Okay, now this is what I want to point to you in this as far as Wikipedia, as far as, uh, uh, I mean, the last days are concerned. Matthew 25, 31. Um, it says um, Christ it, it, it says when he comes he says he will have all the hosts of heaven with him when heaven stares everything stares you know what I mean and I said on Facebook this could be you know who knows how long that Jesus will take actually getting this could be him getting here uh, Matthew 25 31 actually says the Son of Man comes in glory and all the angels with him you know how many that is you can, it's, it's, a, it's, it's probably a number bigger than Jupiter itself it's huge something that huge will cause a, a reaction in the ionization of our uh, solar system and and our and even in our galaxy, you know, something huge because the source of life itself, the Bible says Christ is light, therefore he is filled with these this uh, ability to cause ions to move around him when he comes forth. So this could be that. I'm saying there is something another you know, there's something going on in our solar system that we are not aware of. 
there's proof. What what is happening with Saturn is proof that there is something going on in our atmosphere or in our solar system that we are not aware of. Something is causing our jet stream to move radically. It's I mean it's it's all over the place. I've never seen it move the way that it's been moving for the past year or so. Um, this is okay and this is the verse before and the verse after. I always like to read this. And they throw that worthless servant into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 31. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. 32. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the people one from another. Excuse me, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. Now, so we know that this definitely is the last days that he's talking about, okay? <clears throat> Alrighty. And it's, now because it's saying that these things are going to happen, it doesn't mean that one exact has to happen at exactly the same time as the other. I found that out about Bible prophecy that, um, Sometimes it mentions events that happen separately. It will mention those together, even though they are actually going to happen at different times one in, uh, from another. So we have to understand that. Okay. Luke 21, 25. There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. That's what I'm talking about. When the heavenly bodies are moved, it's around like that. It's going to come. When Jesus is approaching, you know, he might just be getting close. This is what I think is happening, okay? He's moving everything closely like you would to a battle. You move everything close to the battle before you attack. So he's moving everything closely. Then he is at a at a appointed time of the Father. He will kablam. Who knows? This could be Christ sitting. At, we don't know what's under the surface of all those clouds of Saturn. This could be Jesus has moved the angels to the you know to that planet. Uh, underneath the clouds so we can't see and God does that a lot in the Bible the Lord when Moses went up the mountain the Bible said there was a cloud between them he does that a lot who knows heaven might be sitting on uh, Saturn and the glory of those angels causes a smoke to come up and God the Father you know we, we just don't know we don't know okay the Bible does give indication that heaven is a planet. It does give indication that heaven is a planet, just like Earth is a planet. Okay, so, and that, that's a lot to chew on in it. NIV. So, and let's read the King James Version exactly what it says, okay? Luke 21, 25. It says, And there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars, and upon the earth, distress, nations with perplexity, the sea, and the waves roaring. It says the same thing. Okay, and then when you read verse before and verse after, they will fall by the edge of the sword and be led captive into the, all nations. And Jerusalem will be trodden down by the Gentiles until the times of the, of the Gentiles are fulfilled. Now that's already happened. That's already happened, okay? Uh, 1900 and about 50 years Jerusalem was trodden down that prophecy has been fulfilled Christ said it it happened there will be signs in the Sun the moon the stars of dismay all nations bewildered by the roaring and the surging of the seas okay in the verse after men will faint from fear and anxiety over what's coming up on the earth for the powers of the heavens will be shaken this is what I'm saying these things are beginning to move around up there they 
That's what I'm talking about. Prophecy is being fulfilled. The media is not going to tell you about their they're busy fulfilling their end of the prophecy, you know, calling good bad and bad good. That's in the Bible too. It's all in there. And the signs and the things of uh, that's coming, it's just uh, it, 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 enormous. I could sit here and talk to you for hours about the things that is being fulfilled in prophecy. Isaiah 17. God is doing something miraculous at our church in prophecy through me. Something that he started about six, eight months ago. And it keeps talking to me different things about it, you know. And the truth is, if we, uh, if God had t tell us his complete plan of his prophecy, we'd probably mess it up, you know. <laughs> we'd be there... Uh, causing people to get mad or you know we just wouldn't do it exactly the way God wanted it to if he leads us into it rather than just letting us just giving us everything and say there go with it this is the plan throw the whole blueprint at us no it's just more detail all the time it's good that God would do this it's good that he would do this and in a fashion for probably about a hundred reasons okay one being that the devil can't claim what God is doing because see he don't read prophecy any better than we do the Lord and, and that's another explanation you got to go into because see the devil don't understand love so he don't understand God he don't know what God is getting raised to do he, he only can see it when we begin to talk about it and by then when God's prophets start talking about it it's too late for him to claim it okay alrighty we get this out to you. God bless you. It is sure good to see all of you Christian people having a hope. Listen, that's what Christ wants to do. He wants to give you hope. This is a rescue mission that he's coming for, a rescue mission. All right, God bless you. Thank you for joining me. See you next time, Crossing the Middle Ministry.